I'm such a mess in the mornings. Stuff is everywhere. It's 7.30 in the morning. It's already so hot. I'm sweating so much. It's going to be hotter than yesterday. Yesterday it was like 30 degrees in the sun. We were in the sun all day. So I was getting cooked. I think I drank like five liters of water. Oh. climbing this morning <laughs> you know there are some days like earlier this morning when I just think like man I wish I could be faster or stronger and then I look and I'm like I just climbed a thousand meters up a giant mountain before most people have eaten breakfast so I think it's okay <laughs> oh, but yeah I gotta go up the rest of this and then I'm gonna take a break <laughs> This is a nice little break in the shade from the blazing sun for the last 20 kilometers. Well, what's up here? Something nice. Found some shade and a little waterfall and a bench. 
is pretty nice. It's so hot out today. Cause it's like 30 degrees, but feels like more or something. Tomorrow's supposed to be 33, but feel like 38. It's terrible. Then there's also supposed to be a thunderstorm tomorrow, so who knows. But uh, yeah, this spot is really cute. It has these little prayer flags for some reason, I don't know. Okay, but do you know what I hate? Or just really dislike? I think it's so annoying. This thing looks kind of part of trail culture. But I posted on Instagram this morning that was like, oh, I, you know, a picture of the mountains that I climbed. I was like, whew, just climbed a thousand meters over these mountains. Like, whew, it was hot. And, uh, of course, there's someone else who's like, oh, only a thousand meters. Like, uh, just wait, see what's coming. I'm like, is that really necessary? Like, I was like, oh, yeah, up here on stage three. If we don't have 2,000 meters before breakfast, it's a Nero, so just wait. I'm like, okay, like, who cares? I, d I don't understand why you feel the need to, like, compare. It's the same person that was like, oh, you bought new shoes already? I got 1,200 miles out of mine, or 1,200 kilometers out of mine. Like, you could have you could have gotten more out of them. I'm like, okay, like, congratulations. It's not a competition, first of all. We're all literally on the same trail, so I'm not really sure why you're trying to compete or, like, compare. I don't know, I just find it very strange. It's a weird attitude to me. It's the same attitude as like, oh, what day did you start? As in like, I'm going to back calculate how many miles you've been doing every day to see if I'm faster and therefore somehow better. It's very silly. I don't understand it. Whatever. I wanted a coke on trail, to be honest. Hitchhiking oh, wow. in France has been surprisingly easy. This couple picked us up and took us to the grocery store, and earlier in the day, a big tractor picked us up and took us a few miles down the road in the heat. We made it to a campground to do some of our laundry and shower, and basically just get the trail grime off of us after a few days. So we hiked like 28 or 29 kilometers to a campsite, which is nice, which means I got to shower uh, and actually wash my clothes, which is cool because uh, after another three, four days climbing mountains, it, they got real sweaty and disgusting. doesn't take much. It's been like 30 plus degrees every day and blazing hot sun so you get pretty sweaty pretty much all the time um, but yeah and then tomorrow i think we're gonna do a bit of a shorter day we're gonna let our friend catch up to us um Camille, so she can hike with us for a bit she's got her brother visiting and then also it's supposed to be like the hottest day of the year thus far tomorrow with a threat of thunderstorms in the afternoon so we're gonna try and get most of our hiking done as early as possible and then just be somewhere where we can hang out if like things get crazy plus today hiking we did a bunch of like kind of road walking or like flattish farm walking for like the last seven or eight k or something and that was so terrible in the heat it was like just melting I felt like I was gonna turn into a puddle on the pavement um so tomorrow we don't want to hike in that kind of heat because it's just not good for you so that's the plan <coughs> Excuse me. Good night.
tour. How much you pay for rent? All right, this place is beautiful. Just in this like high alpine valley, with this lazy river going through it bunch of green grass. So beautiful. Look at those mountains. Ah. <laughs> this place is just stupid pretty. It Marmots always have the best views. It's cute. They're everywhere. So cute. What a beautiful place to be a marmot. Man, that's the life. Running around the grass, eating flowers, hanging out. 
playing with our friends. Sounds nice. Look at this place. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Sir? Sir? Attempting to even out my terrible hiker tan. Got a pretty beautiful tent site to me. There are quite a few other campers here. Because we're in a national park, so there's not a lot of options for camping. You can only camp in a couple of spots. So we're going to make dinner, and then there is a band that I'm going to go watch. They only had the large size of the can this time, so it was very big. So I have a double portion of vegetables tonight. True. It's starting to look like it might rain. It's been threatening thunderstorms for like three days. So we'll see. But today was really chill. We just did like 14K all up in the morning. And then we were trying to let our friend Camille catch up to us. But we haven't seen her yet. So we just took the afternoon off to just hang out. It was so nice. We went swimming in the lake. I like caught up on some of my journaling. Um... I basically just like rested, did some stretching, hung out, and then um, there's a band playing tonight, like a string band that um, does like tours of the refuges, and they're going to play after everyone else eats dinner, so that's going to be really cute. And that's it. <laughs>
no verre seme la donna, un ritornare na tavor, e poi non me scetare chi. Venivo, il mostro suona vecchi. 